this video, I'm breaking down how you easily can color grade SLOG 3 footage in Adobe Premiere using my free LUT that I will leave a link to in the description below. Super easy and straightforward, and hopefully after watching this video, you will be able to color grade and get from A to B really quick. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Let's go. All right, so these are the clips I'm working with today, and these are all shot on my Sony a7 IV in S-Log3. And the first thing I'll always do when I color grade S-Log3 is to convert it to Rec. 709, AKA getting that contrast and saturation back. And there's many ways of doing this, but in this case, I use my own conversion LUT that you can download for free, link in the description below. You go in here to the effects, and you go in to add alumetric color effect. That means that you now have two color effects, right? And the last one, you want to rename it and rename it to LUT because the last one is going to be where the LUT is going to be applied and nothing else. And then you go back to the first one, Lumetric Color, and you can rename that to, let's say, uh, Adjustments. Adjustments. So this is the tab where all the adjustments is going to be and this is where the LUT is going to be. So let's just apply the LUT. This is my LUT and boom. This is how this clip looks like only with my LUT applied. And it's looking really, really good in my own opinion, but there is a couple of things that you can do to make this pop and look better. So now you don't wanna to touch this tab at all unless you intentionally go in there and add small tweaks just to make it pop a little. But most of the adjustments should be prior to this LUT, which means that we're basically adjusting the clip and not the LUT. Because if you go here and you start tweaking things, you are basically um, adjusting the LUT and not the clip itself. And you don't want that. So go back to the adjustments here. And now we can grade this clip further. All right. So the first thing I see that I need here is a little bit contrast. So I'll drag this contrast slider a little bit up. Like, let's say 35 is good. And then, of course, a little bit of highlights just to give this a little pop. Um, drag up the highlights a little bit. Not so much. Let's see. Like so. I think this is looking good. We can always come back and adjust further. Uh, but, yeah, the shadows is going down a little bit to create a little bit of contrast. Uh, like so. Okay. And the whites can be dragged up a little bit. Or should I just leave it at that? Yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now, okay? And then I can drag the blacks down a little bit. And like I said, you can always go back and tweak things later. And just make sure that all the tweaks are on this tab and not on the LUT tab, okay? So uh, next thing we do is to go in here. And this is a creative look uh, that Premiere Pro has where you can add LUTs. So you're basically adding more LUTs. And it's basically a preset where you, you can give a certain look to your footage. And I'm using this in this case just to make it super simple. That's my goal with this video. Uh, of course, there's many things you could do here, but this is one way to do it. So you can go in here and you can add one of these Kodak um, LUTs. This one looks really, really nice. So let's add, boom, there you go. It's looking pretty good. And as you can see, this faded film right here is also really nice to create that filmic lifted shadow look. So I'll drag this up a little bit as well. Let's see how much, not so much, but let's say like 20. Yeah, like 18.5. That's a good number. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is looking beautiful. Do you see how fast that went? Really, really nice, easy, fast edit. And boom, there you go. This is looking perfect. I love this look. So what I want to do now is to basically, oh, and also you can always add more things to uh, your footage. You can also, for example, go here and add coolness to the shadows. You can, there's many things. You can go in here and adjust the HSL, the, the curves. You can go and do a lot of different things here to make this image look better. But my whole point with this video is to make it as easy as possible. So the next thing I do here is to make sure that I copy all the effects from this clip. And then I added to this clip. So I paste the attributes and boom. As you can see, this is way, way too contrasty, uh, but there's not a problem there because I can fix it. So that's the first thing I'm gonna address. So I go back here and drag this quite a bit down to let's say not so much. Yeah, like 46 is a good number. And now I see that this clip is a little bit too saturated for my taste. So I can drag back some saturation here. Let's say, yeah, 85 is good. 
And um, now I can just leave this image as is, because for me, to me, it's looking really, really good. So yeah, of course, like I said, there's many things you could do here. You could go into the vignette, for example, drag this down to create a little bit more darkness around the image. So you emphasize the middle, for example, and leave it there. And you can use masks to create the same effect. But like I said, I just wanna keep this as simple as possible. And you go in here to this next clip and you add the same uh, attributes as the first clip. Boom, look at that, that's looking amazing. It's looking really good if I could say it myself. Uh, but uh, okay, so go back to the first adjustments. Also, like I said, make sure to always adjust the adjustments, not a lot, see? We're not touching anything here, we're only adjusting this uh, tab right here. So yeah, um, in this case you see that this image is a little bit too dark. Um, so let's do something with the contrast here as well. Uh, we can drag this a little bit down, not so much as the second clip, but let's say to 21. And also you can see that this, this clip is uh, very dark. So to do something with that, we can drag up the whites a little bit. Not so much, but let's say, yeah, 19. 19 is good. Um, now this image is looking way, way, way better. Look at this looking really good I love this but we can do some more to this and uh, what I want to do next is um, to uh, drag a little bit of greens in this image not so much just a little little bit like so and maybe even a little bit of warmth in here as well not so much small tweaks makes the difference in the end I think this is a little bit too much as well let's say yeah, 8.1 I think is a good number. Um, yeah, there you go. Really, really nice. What we could do also is to create a little bit more contrast by dragging this up, let's say to 22, okay? There you go, there you go. And like we did in the second clip, we can uh, drag a vignette in here just to, you know, uh, make it a little bit darker around the corners. So you draw the attention to the middle hair, which is the subject, uh, the, the, which is the lady that is cooking. So yeah, I think this is looking pretty, pretty good. Now that I see that it's a little bit too cold, so I can go, oops, go back into here and add a little bit more warmth. Let's put it at 11.3. Um, yeah, I think this is perfect. So this is the end results for this clip. And um, that is basically how I graded all the clips you saw in the intro. Uh, of course, like I said, there's many other things you could do to make this image look better. For example, using masks, especially in the first clip here, uh, using masks here uh, to isolate the subject a little bit more and, um, you know, adding maybe a little bit of coolness in the shadows using the color wheels. More, There's many things you could do, um, but I think that this is looking really, really good for the amount of work that we put in. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. With that being said, have a beautiful day.